Barbara Kaisman, and today I wanted to talk to you about how the Holy Spirit can warn us about things to come. Now, the scripture verse I'm going to use is in Acts 20:23, 20, and this is how the Holy Spirit warns the Apostle Paul, and this is what it says. I only know that in every city the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardship are facing me. Now, how did the Holy Spirit communicate that to Paul? I often wondered that. I'm like, did he hear, have a dream? Did he hear a voice? Was it a thought in his mind? But you know, I since I've been a, a Christian for 40 years, I've experienced the same warning. And I wanted to share a couple of those stories on, on how the Holy Spirit communicated that to me. Well, one of the first times I experienced it was, we were kind of relatively young in the Lord, and I had been doing my morning devotions, and over and over again, I've been hearing the Holy Spirit give me stories about how Joseph saved up, and because he saved up grain, none of the people starved to death during the seven years of famine. I heard it when different preachers would preach. I heard it in my morning devotions. I heard it over and over again, and I thought, Lord, do you want me to start saving, you know, stocking up food? And I felt like he did, and so I did. Whenever anything was on sale, I would buy extra. I didn't buy anything I wasn't going to use anyway, but I bought extra. And soon enough, my pantry got pretty filled up. Well, about three or four months later, I can't remember, my husband didn't work that much. I mean, work really slowed down. We were self-employed and worked really slowed down. But you know what? We had everything we needed because I had followed the warning and the instructions of the Holy Spirit. Well, then another, fast forward many years down the road, I had been hearing the voice of the Lord say, you need to get debt free. You need to get debt free. You need to get debt free. I heard it over and over. And I was telling Tony, I said, Tony, the Lord says we have to get debt free. And I remember discussing that with him in the car. And as soon as I said it, I saw the license plate of the car in front of me. And I said, Tony, look, look at that license plate. It says forewarned. I said, Tony, the Lord is warning us. And if we don't do it, it's on us. He tried to warn us. And so we did, we got debt free. And then here's what happened. Two years later, we were divorced. Had we not gotten debt free, I wouldn't have been able to keep the house. As it was, when we were divorced, I only had the mortgage payment and some utilities, and I was able to maintain my house, which was important because I started my business out of my house and I needed that house for my future. Anyway, if the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, now remember, Paul said in every city, the Holy Spirit warned him. The Lord will confirm his warnings. It won't be a fearful one-time thing. He, if this is a word from the Lord, don't hesitate to ask him for a confirmation because he will confirm it. And then you will know that you have heard from the Lord and go forward. He won't tell you anything bizarre, but what he will speak is something that will protect you in the future. Anyway, I hope this helps. And I hope that when you hear the Holy Spirit warn you about something, that you pay attention because he only wants the best for you. I'm Barbara Kaisman, and you've been listening to Dare to Dream Once More.